oh, Jehovah's Witnesses, are they simply a sub-cult of Christianity, or are they on to something because they speak of prophecy constantly and the fulfillment of prophecy? Um, I Jehovah's guess your, Witnesses, your view on Jehovah's Witnesses is what he yes, wants. Basically. Jehovah's Witnesses are a Masonic, pre-Masonic cult. Is run by Zionist Jews. Zionist Jews develop what we call the Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses are a Masonic cult. Okay. They were developed during the 1800s, 1860s, 1870s by what we call Zionists. The, and Charles Tess Russell was himself a Zionist and he was a, he was a, he was a promoter of the Zionist movement. It was originally the Watchtower Society was referred to, and the original name for Jehovah's Witnesses was the Zion's Watchtower Society. Wow. They, they they preached Zionism at the beginning of their the beginning of the organization. As a matter of fact, I can tell you many things about Jehovah's Witnesses that Witnesses do not know today. People are still being sucked into the Masonic Order. Uh, the the Masonic Knights Templar Order who founded the Jehovah's Witnesses. They were called the International Bible Students Association, IBSA, International Bible Students Association. And they were founded in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. We talk about Philadelphia being the city of brotherly love. And this is where Jehovah's Witnesses started in Philadelphia. But when you see the city of brotherly love, you're not talking about Christians being brothers and sisters and loving each other. No, we're talking about the Masonic order. And the scripture talks about in the Bible that how good it is to see uh, uh, men coming together to love each other and work with each other. Well, that is the Masonic order in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. The Masons call themselves brothers, and it's the brothers this and the brothers are doing that. So as the city of Philadelphia it goes back to the word Philadelphia, and that, this is why one of the Jehovah's Witness offshoots was called the Christadelphians. Christadelphians comes from the word Philadelphia, and they were Christians in Philadelphia or Christadelphians. Uh, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses are a Masonic order designed to mislead people into believing that the new world order that's coming will be uh, a Christian order in which the whole world will be in peace and happiness and there will be all kinds of wonderful world coming, and which is totally not true. It is a Masonic order's promotion of a, of an idea to to suck in all of the poor, ignorant, and ill-informed, and unread, working-class people of the world to accept the idea of a new world order. That's what even the Zion's Watchtowers, as far back as 1870s, talked about, the new world order that's coming. And they were called the New World Order of Jehovah's Witnesses. And Jehovah's Witnesses were nothing more than the worship of Jehovah, which was a Jewish, a Jewish term the Zionists used. And so Jehovah's Witnesses were originally founded in Philadelphia. They eventually moved to Brooklyn, New York. Is there anybody on the earth that does not know that Brooklyn is the home of the Mafia? <laughs> is there anybody that doesn't know what the Philadelphia is? The mob operates in Philadelphia, and it operates in New York, the Empire State. Uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful secret society that operates behind what they call Jehovah's Witnesses. It is a Masonic order founded by Freemasons. It's a very interesting, dark and deep uh, organization, very successful at manipulating and exploiting the poor and the innocent and the ill-informed and the unread people who are, you know, are just trying to stay alive and want to do something to see the earth better place. And so the uh, organizational arrangement came out of Europe. It's a Masonic organization in Europe. 
that gave birth to what we call British Israel. And the British Israel movement gave birth to something called Millerism. Uh, there, was a, there was a guy in Philadelphia called William L. Miller. And Miller uh, was promoting what he called the Seventh Day, the Second Adventist movement, of which the Seventh Day, the Seventh Day Adventists are, are they continue? They were part of Jehovah's Witnesses a long time ago. Jehovah's Witnesses. Charles Tez Russell was a Second Adventist. And that was another Masonic order in, in Europe called the Adventist, Second Adventist Movement. Go back and look at William L. Miller and find out who he was and how he was connected to the British Israel World Federation. And he was promoting the idea that the whole advent of Jesus coming back and the whole new world order is going to happen in America, and America is going to be the home of the new world order. <laughs> 